Look, Chloe, the last thing that I wanted was to hurt you. Well, you spied on me and watched my every move. Do you realise how creepy that is? I just thought that if I got to know you better, I could... You could, what, what trick me into liking you? You can't force people to love you. I know. I've learnt my lesson now. Okay, good. Stay away from me. I will, but could you just tell the police that you made, made a mistake or something? Please. Oh, here we go. So that's what all this is about, is it? All that rubbish about you being sorry, you're only saying it to save your own skin. No, honest. I know when about things the wrong way. Look, you don't have to listen to this. I can phone the police, get a restraining order. She is right, no, you can't keep doing this. I was trying to apologise. And failing badly. Look, you've said what you wanted to say, just go. Time. Or what you thought I was going to just leave, did you? Come on, Noah, we are a long way off dealing with this and you know it. Why? Because suddenly you feel bad for what you did. Save your breath. No, I'm not going anywhere till we've sorted this. I'll camp out on that sofa if I have to. I told you! I know what I did was wrong. Well then do you see why I had no choice? Could I just stand by and defend your actions, could I? It's not like you got into a fight or stole a car. How many times have you asked me to forgive you for something stupid? This is way more than stupid! This is next level serious! Look, I didn't come here to argue. And I get why you're angry with me. To be honest, I hate myself. Yeah, right. No, I do. It broke my heart going to the police, but the only way we're going to get through this is if we deal with it head on. And what do you think I've been trying to do? No, no, Noah, this is way more than just being sorry. This is like showing remorse, accepting that what you did and the way you behaved was wrong. And changing your attitude now before it's too late. I know you're a good kid at heart. Now everyone thinks I'm some perv. No, they won't. Not if you deal with this head on. Please, can we just stop the shouting and the finger pointing and, and try and figure this out together? Please. I did think about giving you something stronger, but hey. Let's be keeping a clear head with what's to come. So, what do you think will happen? <sighs> I wish I knew. But for now, I suggest we just try and carry on with some kind of normal, whatever that is. Making sure you stay away from Chloe, that would be a good start. I didn't know she'd be there, did I? What have you done? She was outside the hive with Amy. I was just passing. Please tell me you carried on walking. I didn't go near her. I just wanted to talk to her. Explain. Amy was there the whole time. Brilliant. Well, that's great, cos, you know, she's really gonna back you up, isn't she? I mean, come on, Noah, as if you're not as in enough trouble as it is. What if I get sent down for this? What if I get put on some sort of register? Nobody is getting sent down, OK? Not if I've got anything to do with it. You're the one who went to the police. Do you really think I'd have done that if there was any chance that you'd be going to prison? Noah, you are young. You're sorry. You know what you did was wrong and you're going to change that. You'll probably get some community service, maybe some counselling, and then that'll be it. You'll be able to put it behind you and get on with your life. How do you know for sure? Because I have met men who hate women, OK? Who want to control them because they're scared and they're weak, and that isn't you. You are a good kid and... You are going to come through this, okay? Sorry. I know you are. Hey, we're going to put this right. So, how about we finish these and then you go and get your stuff and we get you home where you belong? <laughs> <laughs>